the stuff is starting to, to kick off in the States because obviously we've got the election later this year. It looks like it's going to be Trump-Biden. One little sub-paragraph of it all is, is problems with Biden's son, Hunter. Now, he has been the wrong side of the law on several occasions in the States over his tax, over carrying weapons, over taking drugs. And they're doing an investigation into him on in Congress, on Capitol Hill, which is, if you're a Biden fan, you say it's political, OK? Hunter Biden is not due to give evidence so far as we know, because he's been in a disagreement with the panel, but he showed up. First of all, my first question is, who bribed Hunter Biden to be here today? That's my first question. Um, second question, you are the epitome of white privilege, coming into the Oversight Committee, spitting in our face, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed. What are you afraid of? You have no balls to come up here and- M Mr. Chairman, point of inquiry. What is Hunter Biden so afraid of? Why can't you show up for a, a congressional deposition? You're here for a political stunt. This is just a PR stunt to you. This is just a game that you are playing with the American people. Okay, so that's a South Carolina Congresswoman, Nancy Mace. What has happened there is, is Hunter Biden w won't give evidence formally because he disagrees with the, with the way they're doing it. However, he showed up. And, and you could see he just infuriated them. But there we are. So this is him arriving in the building. Quite to their surprise, this is, and I, this, this could be a bit of a, I know it's a sideshow, but a bit of a problem for President Biden. Could well, be. I think he's got other very serious problems. I mean, I, I, I think the single biggest problem is the one that you said almost, you know, as an aside, uh, which is that the likely next election probably will be between Biden and Trump. Yeah. which I think is a very sad statement. I mean, Biden is senile, I'm sorry to say it, but the leader of the Western world is senile. He doesn't know which day of the week it is. And I would think that is a much bigger problem than what any of his rather disreputable relatives may be doing. What do you think about that, Michael? Uh, I mean, I think he does know what day of the week it is. Obviously, he has a lot of awkward moments sure in front of the that, camera. Yeah. I mean, I, I think if you look at American democracy, it's, it's quite depressing, right? So you've got all of these set piece um, performances in Congress purely for cameras. No, no one there was talking about the problems facing America or the problems facing the world. Yeah. And then you've got these two candidates who, yeah, I, I mean, I don't really think either of them are up for the job. Obviously, you vote for the lesser evil, mm. which in this case is going to be Joe Biden. Oh, or but, but, but the Americans are facing a terrible choice. Yeah, well, it's, it's, uh, uh, it looks as if Trump is going to get but the why, nomination, why so far as I can tell. Why are facing that choice? Why is it that, you know, the world's biggest democracy with, a, with an enormous population and, and high levels of education, why are they facing such Dif a choice? Different reasons, but uh, with, with the, the Trump, it is the, the Republican base chooses their candidate and they are really energised by Trump. I think that's Fox News basically has a lot it. to answer for. You know, when people, Fox News. When people complain about the BBC and sort of public funded broadcasting, I think if you look at America and you look at the alternative where it's all a free for all, um, then you do end up with massive polarisation. Everyone is just speaking to their own base mm. and then you have... Fox News on one side, MSNBC on the other side. Everyone's living in different worlds. Yeah. Well, I'd well, we actually rather have a, a media that was open and honest like that than one that but it, you pretends think that's open and to impartiality, which isn't impartial. <laughs> OK, well, I'll, I'll not pick up the baton with that.